I've got good news for you. What's up guys, welcome back, another vlog. Check out what's behind me. I know a lot of you guys are gonna recognize this truck. Some of the most comments we've ever gotten on YouTube was on this truck. And is it available? I wanna buy it. So this is hands down one of our most popular vlogs out there to date. I've got good news for you. Up for sale, 2001 H1 Duramax conversion. It has the LB7 engine. With the slant back kit on there, we went through and did paint work, exterior accessories, interior accessories, full alpha dash conversion. Jumping into it on the front of the truck, first and foremost is the D-ring brush guard up here. This is our heavy duty D-ring brush guard. It wraps up and over the hood. It gets a ton of attention going down the road. How often do you see a full brush guard that wraps up and over the hood? We also have our air intake up here. Stainless steel mesh grill integrated in the same matching stainless steel mesh grill down here. We've got Onyx Baja Designs light bar down here, mounts perfectly on the D-ring brush guard. And then moving down even farther is our Viper front winch bumper. This is the pinnacle of H1 bumpers. This has a number of different designs integrated into it to give you the strongest front bumper as well as the winch integrated into it. The uh, approach angle is not compromised at all. We have this angular design here as well as here. So we also have flush mounted Baja design lights, which are some of the best lights out there. Very sharp angular design, brushed aluminum, anodized, uh, just really high quality lights. I really love the Baja design lights. 12,000 pound winch. It has a synthetic cable on here. Warren Ford shackles. Then we also have these one piece billet steel shackle mounts right here that's integrated into the actual bumper itself. Cover plates blacked out. The side plates over here are blacked out. We have LED headlamps as well as the LED military turn signals right here. Best of all up here, is it has a FLIR system. So that stands for forward looking infrared. It's gonna feed back an image to the inside of the truck with an onboard display with the stereo system. It's gonna show you heat signatures. So as you're driving down the road, you turn on the FLIR at nighttime or during daytime too. If you're like in a heavy wooded area, you turn that on, you're gonna see you know, a heat signature from a deer or something else. Again, it is a very nice safety feature, very expensive upgrade, uh, really nice to have. And that's kind of gives you an idea of the level of the build that we put into this truck. So moving on to the heavy duty light bar mount that protects the windshield from branches hitting the side. So a lot of times in heavy off-road conditions, you're gonna come through, big tree limb is gonna be out here. It's gonna protect that windshield. Secondarily is it gives you a great location to mount LED light bars onto. So you've got these Baja designs. These are the Onyx 6 going across there, 50 inch infrared lights here on each side. So you can look through your night vision, flip these guys on, and they're gonna be floodlights for night vision. Moving down here, we have our Squadron Pros down low. These are great rock lights. You can angle them down a little bit more if you want to, or keep them out here to the side. So you have a tremendous amount of light output across the front, as well as down low on the sides. All the accessories are all powder coated black, stainless steel hardware. So all the accents have stainless steel hardware, same with up here, up here on the hood. Coming back here, you have the hinges powder coated black, stainless steel fasteners here as well. A huge safety item are these rock skids. So if you have an impact that comes in here, it's gonna be extremely strong, very rigid design. Besides off-roading and giving you protection if in case you hit a rock and kind of teeter on that, it gives you a lot of protection from a side impact. Really nice safety feature I love to have on all my trucks, um, especially with the family and the kids inside. 
So moving up to the top, we have our Search and Rescue roof rack. Search and Rescue line is a branded line that we've created that has kind of the best of the best design, function, and features. Most all roof rack mounts mount onto the rain gutter and put that load right on here on this thin little 16th inch uh, steel structure. And it's really not a great way to go because you can't put much load up there. Secondarily is if it shifts, if you bounce up and down going down the road, it can overstress these rain gutters. And a lot of times we'll see trucks come in with the old style roof racks and you'll see cracks back in here where it's actually the, the rain gutter starting to kind of fold out and separate out. This design the foot actually mounts on the radius of the roof. You've got a full 36 square inches of roof rack foot. It also has an A pillar mount for the roof right here that ties into the A pillar here. The B pillar structure here that has a roll bar that goes across there. And then the C pillar is right back here. These are the three strongest points of the roof that we've utilized to mount the roof rack to distribute the load evenly around those structures. Entire roof rack is blacked out. The slats are blacked out right up in here. Baja design lights all the way around. So he has a full halo lighting system on the truck. Each of these little pods here. So two on the other side, two right here. You got your 50 inch light bar in the front. So tremendous amount of light just flooding everywhere. Okay, so onto the back of the truck. We've got our Viper rear winch bumper, 12,000 pound Warren winch, synthetic line, very soft material. The advantage with it is it doesn't store any energy. So if it does ever snap, it's not going to whip around or potentially kill somebody. The normal cables are very deadly. Stay away from that stuff. Go with the synthetic line. This is actually designed for a 16,500 pound winch. So you can run up to that if you wanted to. My opinion, it's kind of overkill. There's no reason for it. So you can go up there if you want to, but it does have the Warren 12,000 pound winch here. One of the most notable features on this truck is the slant back, of course. And it has a really cool design to it because it gives you some extra storage in here. His customer opted for uh, Air B storage lockers. Put your guns in here, off-road gear, extraction, and you can lock it up too if you want to. So you have this whole structure with a slant back, it's lockable as well as these individual boxes that are lockable as well. Ammo cans on either side, they're set up for storage. Remote mounted the air compressor over here. And uh, still you have a lot of room for gear. I really like the slant back design because it does give you a lot of secure storage for a four door hardtop. Great, great design. So finalizing the full walk around on the outside of the truck, we've got 20 inch rims mounted on 40 inch Toyo mud train tires. These are my favorite tires. I say it over and over again. I love the off-road capabilities of the mud train tire. Very smooth, very quiet being a mud train tire on the road. And then finalizing it, we've got our build aluminum locking fuel doors, rear tank, front tank, gives you a lot of security being lockable and also keeps out a lot of debris off-roading. Also full remote reservoir shock system all the way around, runs very smooth down the road. Now let's go ahead and jump on the inside of the truck. Okay, so inside the truck, as you can see, it definitely has like a tremendous amount of work that's gone into it. A completely different dash from a normal 2001 H1 Hummer. This is the Alpha dash kit that we manufacture. This is all fiberglass structure here, super strong. It's not gonna crack like the Alpha dash does. We also went with full auto meter package across here, uh, including all your normal gauges. We also threw in boost gauge as well as a pyrometer down here. And that's a really nice feature to have, especially if you're doing a long grade, you can watch those temperatures to make sure that um, you're not gonna be overheating the engine, especially if you're towing something. The pyrometer is instantaneous. If you're running like 1200 degrees, you should back out of it a little bit uh, before these water temps start to to show you know 220 or so you got your ctis system right here integrated to the dash system you've got an oversized nine inch alpine head unit that feeds the flare system up here as well as your reverse camera all your navigation is in here as well all the speakers have been replaced all the way around two tens back here have a really clean integration into the whole back of the truck here hardly even tell that they're there so now moving on to the seats our recaro full electronic seats slides forward and back very, very comfortable. We rewrapped them and uh, pulled off all their old material and put on our higher grade, higher quality material that's matching leather, matching stitching. We also did a cross hatch pattern on the center inserts for the seats and then tied that into the door panels as well. So everything has a very well thought out theme here. Even the kick panel down here is wrapped in leather, something that you probably would never even see 
owning a vehicle for years and then all of a sudden you notice, oh yeah, they wrapped the, the kick panel down here as well. And then into the overhead console, we have the switches all laid out across here. Very simple design. We don't have switches all over the place. A lot of work goes into that, getting all those wires integrated up there. And then up here, we have the Alcantara headliner and it has a really nice contrast between the black leather with the green stitching and then the Alcantara. I like the black on black design having that kind of two different styles. It has a very flat look from the headliner, from the Alcantara into the, the leather over here on the sides, which is actually a little bit glossier finish to it. If you are interested in this truck, shoot us a call down in the description is a link back to our website and you can check out the actual truck listed on the website as well as pricing details, a number of other things that I honestly just like overlook because there's a tremendous amount of details to this build. So check it out. Appreciate you guys watching as always. See you guys soon. Dude, it's hot. It's hot. I know. I'm dying. It's, it's like 73.5 degrees. I think I'm good. I'm not used to that. San Diego. Okay. And I try to look fancy with a black shirt. It wasn't smart. I got all black on. Do it. You always have all black on. Okay. Bye. Bye.